purpose of Bloom and Wild is to make the flower buying experience better for consumers. Bloom and Wild is the first company in the UK that does subscription flowers. They go through people's letterboxes and they last much longer than flowers that people can get elsewhere. Uh, we felt that uh, the current offerings were quite poor, uh, expensive, uh, short-lasting flowers, and we wanted a, a better solution. It wasn't the case that we could look at how other people were doing it and kind of try and make it a bit better. We were designing something from scratch. It was kind of, in its own very small way, a, a new invention. We think that we're the first people we know of um, anywhere in the world that do this. We have a specially designed box that we came up with. By using this box, we can get a whole bouquet of flowers into one of these boxes so that they can get to people's houses really conveniently. The biggest way that Bloom and Wild is different from other flower companies is that we only cut flowers when we have an order. And what this means is that instead of the flowers coming to you from a warehouse where they've been sitting for a week, uh, they come straight from the field to your home. We get flowers to our customers in far fewer days than our competitors do. Often it takes seven to ten days for flowers to arrive um, at the end customer from when they're cut. We do it in just three days by cutting all our flowers to order and then sending them from the field straight to our studio and then straight out to our customers with no other middlemen. We're taking out the cost of the middleman and in aggregate this means that we can deliver flowers for about half the cost of most competitors. So we've gone to a lot of effort to make the design of our box and the design of the things that go in the box beautiful. But I think the most powerful thing for us is that that happiness and delight that goes with receiving flowers lasts for two weeks rather than two days. And the feedback that we've got so far is that people really appreciate the effort that we've gone to. I think that the process is identifying the problems, doing your best to iterate be it the website or the product itself, uh, and then testing them again. So it's quite unglamorous. Uh, there's a lot of grunt work and it's just uh, little by little trying to make it a bit better. So we want to keep this operation really lean because by doing that we can have really low prices for our customers. There are three main ways that we do that. The first one is we don't waste any flowers. The second one is we don't have any expensive overhead or retail space. And the third thing is that we curate our flowers, meaning that we're only giving customers great value flowers in any particular week. I think kind of a lesson that I've learned over the last six months is that while any one improvement in isolation may not feel like much, the cumulative impact of lots and lots of iterations, lots and lots of small iterations can be quite powerful. One of the things that I really enjoy is the customer interaction. And it's amazing when you get an email saying that Bloom and Wild has made somebody really happy because you know, that's why we're doing this. It's kind of creating something that just didn't exist before. You know, when we wake up today and speak with consumers who have bought our product, they're buying something which didn't exist even six months ago and there's something quite exciting about making an idea a reality.